good morning students let us discuss about flower today a flower which is the most recognizable most easily recognizable part and a plant are in most of the plants because of its bright colors specific beautiful appearance a flower has generally four parts sepals petals stamen and pistils stamens and pistils sepals are the outermost parts of flower and generally are green in color sepals are the outermost part of the flower see i am showing you the sepals this green color portion each one this is the sepal these are the sepals these are the sepals this is the green color portion okay in any flower okay the outside green color portion they also appear like small leaves right this green color portion right and where they are present they are the outermost part this is one flower this is hibiscus flower you might be knowing it in hibiscus flower here you can see the sepals and there is one more flower for your understanding i have brought you this is datura flower you see datura flower these are the sepals okay datura flower appears like a funnel right so here sepals are joined sepals are joined even here also sepals are joined they are not separate sepals are joined okay so you understood what is sepal and where it is present right sepals are the outermost parts of a flower and generally are green in color and when a flower is in its bud condition when a flower is in its bud bud condition then the sepals will be the most prominent part are very important part because as a bud the sepals will be protecting in the bud the sepals will be protecting the all inner parts of the flowers all inner parts of the flower right so if you take a bud in the bud the inner parts are not generally seen and outer sepals only are seen generally like this the inner parts are not completely seen they will be like this only right so buds in a bud sepals are the most important part are most prominent part in a completely open flower sepals may be hidden downside and petals start appearing outside and coming to petals petals are the most easily recognizable parts in a fully open flower in a fully open flower see if you take this flower right these are the petals these are the petals in the tura plant even petals also are joined they are not free and if you take hibiscus petals are free petals each petal you can see separately each petal like this right in some plants petals are joined in some plants petals are free are separate so in a fully open flower or fully blossomed flower petals are the most easily recognizable parts so in a open flower what is the prominent part petals in a 
बर्ड वट इज द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट पार्ट सेपल सो इन बर्ड इन बर्ड सेपल्स आर द प्रोमिनेंट पार्ट इन बर्ड सेपल्स आर द प्रोमिनेंट पार्ट इन पेटल्स सॉरी इन ओपन फ्लावर पेटल्स आर द प्रोमिनेंट पार्ट ओपन फ्लावर पेटल्स आर द प्रोमिनेंट पार्ट If you take the grass plants, sepals, petals, के are generally three or in its multiple numbers. In grass plants, grass plants, sepals and petals. The number of sepals and petals is generally three or its multiples, like six. Or nine, etc. Whereas in non-grass non-grass plants like gram, rose, just now hibiscus we have seen. What is the number of petals? If you carefully count, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. In some it may be four, right? So the number of sepals and petals in non-grass plants, non-grass plants is how much? Four are its multiples. Are five are its multiples? Right. In some plants. Sepals are present, not attached to one another. Are uh, simply they are present separately. Mm. Some other plants they are attached. Just now we have seen two flowers, hibiscus and datura. The sepals are attached to each other. The sepals are attached to each other in hibiscus. In datura also the sepals are attached to each other, right? in some plants the sepals are free you can collect you can observe some flowers in which the sepals are free right if flowers are having joined sepals petals also might be joined like here in datura you can see the sepals are joined so you can see even the petals also are joined with each other they are not separate in some other plants flowers with joined sepals may not have joined petals best example your hibiscus just now you have seen sepals are joined but petals are not joined they are separate okay and sepals are generally in which color here green color in the pulse are green in color in hibiscus in datura also the pulse are green in color right but what about petals they are brightly colored different colors the pulse color in most of the plants it is green whereas petals color it changes from plant to plant right so finally if you look at sepals and petals where they are seen outside or inside outside so sepals and petals are the outer parts of the flower and inside if you carefully see there are long structures okay for your understanding there is no other go other than layering of this flower okay so inside if we open the flower like this if we open the flower like this inside you can see the inner parts inside you can see the inner parts what the inner parts are see the inner parts i am opening for you i have removed the sepals now we can see the inner parts the inner parts are 
tamen and pistil how many sepals and petals i mean petals you have seen five sepals and five petals you have seen here stamens okay this is not stamen this one is not stamen you keep it aside if you keep this aside remaining stamens if you count how many are there five stamens are there generally whatever the number of sepals and petals is there same number of stamens will be there and pistil on the top there is one part okay right this is called stigma this part is called stigma it will contain it will contain five parts in it because pistil though it is made of five different parts all of them are generally present in fused condition or joined condition right so stamens and pistil are the inner parts of the flower there are different kinds of stamens in different flowers but every stamen has two parts okay different kinds of stamens will be there in different flowers but every stamen has two parts what are they let us see this is the stamen you carefully see the stamen there is a long lengthy tube like structure this is called see this long okay structure is there na this one is called filament it is called filament and on the top on the top a wedge shaped structure is there like this a wedge shaped structure is there right this one this is called anther so every stamen has two parts there are filament and anther right filament is the long tube like stalk which is attached to the base part of the flower okay you see here this filament it will extend up to here okay filament extends up to here the so filament is attached to base up, up to here it is extended so filament is attached to base of the flower and it holds the anther on the top of it on the top of it what it is holding see you can see the anther this is the anther this is the anther this is the anther and one stamen we have removed it right and anther is the wedge shaped structure okay anther is the wedge wedge shaped structure this is wedge if you can clearly see it okay this is the wedge shaped structure wedge means like this anther is the wedge shaped structure right and it contain yellowish powder or pollen yellowish powder or pollen here you can see the yellowish color very clearly this one right here the stamens are different see here pistil you can see five parts five different parts in some pistils the carpels are not fused or they are separate that is hibiscus you can see carpels are not fused but stamens are fused all stamens together they have got one stalk like structure okay right whereas pistil it is not fused five different parts you can see see five different parts right can you see the five different parts here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 
So in pistil, there are three parts, ovary, tail and stigma. In pistil, there are three parts. They are called ovary, tail and stigma. I will show that with you. Pistil is the innermost part. See. There is a bottom part in pistil. This is called ovary. This is swollen part. Swollen means bulged part. And the long middle part, this one, it is called stale. Okay. And the top part, okay. The top part is known as, this one is known as what? Stigma. So there are totally three parts. Ovary, stale and stigma. They are the three parts. And inside the ovary, if we cut open the ovary, we can see small beads like structures. Okay. Inside the ovary, we can see small beads like structures. If we cut open the ovary, okay, I will just draw the pistil part. This is pistil. There are three parts, ovary, stale and stigma. And this is stamen. There are two parts, filament and anther. So we have already learned about this one. Coming to ovary, I mean pistil, right? Stamen. Pistil. Pistil is the innermost part. Pistil is the innermost part. Right? In pistil, the ovary contains many small beads like structures. Like this many beads like structures are present okay, in the ovary. These beads like structures in ovary are called ovules. So above the ovary there is a long tube like structure. This is called stale. Stale is present between ovary and stigma. Top wedge shaped structure is known as stigma. Stigma is sticky. Sticky means it has got, uh, what's a attaching nature. Means if something comes on and just touches it, it gets attached to it because it is sticky in nature. Right? And stigma receives the pollen. Stigma receives the pollen receive the pollen right so and some more things are there we will discuss in the coming class